Hello everyone and welcome back to the third video in the series of videos on SQL queries on Employee Salary Database. In the first video, we found out how we can write a SQL query to find the employees with the maximum salary in the department. The link is provided above and also in the description box. So if you want to check that out, then you can click on that link and check out the video. In the second video, we explored how we can write a SQL query to find out the employees whose salary is greater than the average salary of the department. And also how to write a SQL query to find out the employees whose salary is greater than their department average, but less than the overall average. Again, the link to the second video is provided in the description box as well as above. So you can click on these links to check out the video. Now, in today's video, we are going to cover another scenario related to the average salaries of the employees. So the scenario for today is to write a SQL query to find out the employees whose salary is less than their department average, but greater than the average salary of any other department. So this scenario is similar to the one that we covered in the second video. So I'm going to make use of the same query. So I'm just going to copy this query uh, that we used to find out the employees whose salary is greater than the department average but less than the overall average. So we are just going to tweak that query and uh, make it work for this scenario. So here if we see, we need to find out the first change that we uh, want to make is because here we want to find out the employees whose salary is less than the department average. So here we will just go and change this to less. So employee salary is less than the average salary. And the second change that we want to make to this query is for the second requirement which is greater than the average salary of any other department. Now to do that, uh, here if you see the last part in the where clause, it is basically finding out the employees whose salary is less than the overall salary because this particular subquery select average salary from review.employee gives the average salary for the whole organization. Now we want to make it that we want to find out average salaries of all the departments and if the employee salary is greater than any of those average salaries then we want to put that uh, employee uh, details in the output. So now first of all let us frame a query to find out the average salary for each department. So for that we need to group by the department because now we are uh, limiting the average salary to within the department. So we can include the department name over here and we can do a group by department name. Now if we just execute this part of the sub query. We will get multiple rows in the output. Each row would be corresponding to the average salary for each department. So the first thing that we observe here is that there are multiple records in the output. And we need to compare that salary by multiple records. So it is in general scenarios, it would have been like the using the in statement. So in and then you can give a list of values. So how can we do it uh, using a subquery if the subquery results multiple output rows. So the very first change let's make to this query is that because we are just comparing the salary part we are not really concerned about the department because it says that the salary can be greater than the average salary of any of these departments. So what we are basically checking is that the employee salary is greater than any of these values. So let's just remove the department name from here. And now let's just compare the employee salary with these different average salary values. Now since this is going to be a list of values and this is uh, greater than the average salary. So let's change this to greater than. And since this is going to be a list of values, we have to make use of a clause called any. So any would basically compare this salary to any of these values. So if the salary and price salary is greater than any of these values that are coming out of these nine records, then that employee results would be filtered and displayed in the output. So if you now run this query, you would get all the records for the employees whose salary is greater than the average salary of any other department, but less than the average salary of their own department. 
so this is about the query and the scenario for today i hope you found the video useful if you did then please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and i'll see you again tomorrow with another query which is going to be to find out the employers with salary greater than their manager's salary thanks a lot for watching stay tuned and i'll see you tomorrow